Babe. Yes. Did you have any disappointments in love so far? Mm -hmm. Do you still consider them disappointments at this point in your life? No, I consider them lessons. Lessons, okay. So they don't hurt anymore? No, no. Okay, because that's my topic today. Thank you, bye. Hi, my name is Anne-Marie and I'm always hungry. In today's episode, I wanted to talk about and share feelings with you regarding the first disappointment in love. Because I've been reading this book. It's like a collection of disappointments from different writers from Romania. And I enjoyed very much reading about these people's disappointments, feelings, struggles, sadness, despair. I don't know why, why I'm saying these words with a smile on my face. We all had disappointments in love, right? Although there might be a category of people who share their lives with their kindergarten crush, you're excluded. YouTube should be all about tolerance and here I am, excluding people. I think I had my first disappointment in love in second grade. Or was it first grade? I grew up in the countryside and then my mom took me to school in a city. I was a small kid, I was shy, I was so scared of everything that was around me and I went to this school, my first school experience, I had a teacher. But then I saw him, but then I saw him, my first crush. This story is pretty classic. He was a classmate, he was handsome, he was good at math, I liked him and he liked my best friend. He surely had communication problems because I did not get a hint until our first play. The traditional end of the year play. And from now on the plot is simple. My best friend nailed the female leading role. The guy got the male lead role. I was a supporting actress and it all went down from there. But then I grew up. Kissed some guys, flirted around. I thought I got the hang of love. I was kissing so many guys I started an agenda. Player! So when I was about 14 I started dating this guy from my hometown. <sighs> he was older than me, he played basketball, he was like popular in his high school and I was this insecure punk rock oh my god my personality is so strong i don't know how to handle myself chick who didn't know much at first he was kind of intimidating so we dated for like two weeks we dated for two weeks and then i went for the summer holiday at my grandparents house the one i i grew up in and while i was vacationing at my grandparents i was 14. I could not take a boy with me during my holiday. So we had this fight on the phone and I said, okay, let's just drop this, meaning the fight. Then he used, the slimy bastard used this line against me because when I came back from my holiday, he already hooked up with one of my classmates. Yes, and important detail, nobody told me about this. I thought we were still together. So I went home and I went for a walk with one of my friends and she asked me Hey, are you still with that guy? And I said, well, sure, we didn't get a chance to meet since I just got back from my grandparents. Why? Why do you ask? Oh, because I saw him kissing with your classmate. Yeah, his excuse when I confronted him. But you said to drop it. I thought you wanted to drop the relationship. No, asshole. I wanted to drop the fucking argument. It was infuriating. A mix of disappointment with anger and with Yes, as my boyfriend said in the beginning, that was a lesson. I did not have a temper back then. Come at me now, bro. And now it's time to share. Leave me a comment below telling me about your first disappointment in love. How did that go? How did you move past it? And how do you feel about it now? Don't forget to comment. As I said in the first video on this channel, I really want to know new people from all around the world, learn about their experiences and how they cope with them. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Always Hungry. I put out a new video each each Thursday so have a nice day and see you next Thursday bye forgot to shut it down